We're gonna make some uh, truffle chicken karage. Ah, okay. So this chicken thighs, marinate a little bit of koji, some soy, mm -hmm. mirin, and dump it all in this. This is gonna be starch right. and flour together. Right. So we have gloves on, obviously it's chicken, right? So I'm just gonna mix it for you. Yes. This is marinated overnight. Uh -huh. So there is a lot of flavor in there but subtle because we're using truffle. This one we don't want too crusty because obviously the chicken's delicious already. Mm -hmm. So it's just lightly breaded. So we're gonna bring this to the deep fryer. We're gonna fry it and then we'll come back and toss everything together. Sounds good. So right away out of the deep fryer, you want to salt things. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because it sticks better. There's okay. still a little bit of remnants of oil there. Uh -huh. right, a little bit of pepper. We brought a bunch of things. This is our little Sancho peppercorn uh, mixture. Lots of different spices in there, but mainly the Sancho peppercorn flavor. I'm gonna go relatively heavy with that. Some green onion. Uh -huh. This one is a little different because we made such a nice truffle aioli right. with it. So truffle uh, mayonnaise, kind of interesting, but I want to toss it together. Right. I want even more things to stick to it. So I just want to toss everything a little bit more together. This is a shredded cabbage, okay. a little bed of shredded Why is it cabbage. It's so white. It's just the, it's the inside of the cabbage. Okay. The little fancy for you, Alex, a little bit more truffle essence. Yes. It looks like it needs some color. This one, Is we it? will put some color. This is the freshness that's gonna go with mm -hmm. the uh, the friedness. Right. And then chili threads. Yes. Right. Just sprinkle it on top. Right. And as always, a little lemon to finish. All right, let's try it. So yes. A little bit of lemon, okay, from the top. Okay. Try it sort of by itself and then mix the things together. Okay. It's hot. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna give you a little bit of lemon as you eat that, okay? You're gonna try this one. There's some sort of like saltiness, but not purely salt saltiness. Where's that coming from? That's coming from this? It's coming from this, obviously, because there's a little bit of soy dressed mm. in there. Inside the meat would be a little bit of flavor. There it has too. quite like a, it has somewhat like a Japanese Ish yeah, flavor. Yeah, yeah, this is this is very driving. This is our version of karage, right? Watermelon radish tastes like with this. It'll be it'll make it more neutral, but it'll give you a nice freshness to it all. Mm. What wow. do you think? Wow. Imagine this on like a Dunbury or something. You eat it with rice. It'd be awesome. Put all that mayonnaise on top and more scallions. Quite interesting identifying the flavors. Yeah. It's actually quite difficult if I didn't know what was in it. Delicious. Alright. What do you think? Good, right? That's good, yeah. Okay, perfect.